add two fraction or how we can subtract one fraction from the another one. So now we'll learn how to solve these two fractions. Now I have two fraction, two by five and three by five. So first add two by five and three by five. Now we can see, see that these two fractions is like fractions. So for this kind of a fraction, what we do will add the numerator but keep the denominator same because the LCM of these two denominator is 5. So we'll keep the denominator same and we'll add the numerator. So if we add 2 by 2 plus 3. So 5 by 5 and in fraction we are supposed to reduce it, it as the smallest form. So if you see the common between these two of 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1 by 1 means 1. So the sum of 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 is 1. Now let us take one more example. We need to subtract, subtract 2 by 5 from 3 by 5. So how we will do that? Subtract 2 by 5 from 3 by 5. Now the denominator is same. So we will take 5 by 3 minus 2. It means 1 by 5. This is the process to solve the like fraction. Now we will learn how to solve unlike fractions. Addition and subtraction of unlike fraction. So let us take one example. 3 by 8 and 5 by 12. We need to add these two fraction. So first of all these two are unlike fraction. We need to convert it into like fraction. So the process is 5 by 12. How we'll do it? We'll take out the LCM of LCM of 8 and 12. That is 24. And to make our denominator same, like we need to find a number which we multiply to get the LCM. So like I have 3 by 8. What will be that number to get 24? Now, what will be the number here to get our LCM is this one. What will be the number here? Now our denominator is same. So, 9 by 24 is 10 by 24. Now it's the like fraction. So, the denominator should be same and we'll add only numerator so it's 19 by 24 so if we add 3 by 8 and 5 by 12 we'll get 19 by 24 the similar way will apply for uh, subtraction also so let us take one example how we subtract in a like fraction let us take example subtract 4 by 5 minus 2 by 3. This is the question. We need to subtract 2 by 3 from 4 by 5. So the step is, first we need to find out the LCM of 5 and 3 and this is 15. Now we need to find a word, we need to find a number to multiply and get the LCM. So we need to find a digit 15. Now this one, what will be the number here to get the LCM? So this will be 10 by 15. Now 
we can see that 12 Now the denominator is same and we can apply the subtraction method for numerator. Now it will be 2 by 15. So what will be the solution? 4 by 5 minus 2 by 3 is 2 by 15. Well, the most important thing which we need to remember for subtraction and uh, addition that when we subtract to unlike fraction, we are supposed to convert it into like fractions. And for converting unlike into like, we need to, uh, we, what we need to have, we need to have the same denominator. For this, what we did, we take the LCM of uh, the denominator and find that number which we multiply to get our denominator same. How to solve? addition and subtraction in mixed fraction. So we all know that what is mixed fraction? Mixed fraction means a whole number and a proper fraction. So if I say 3 1 by 2 what does mean? 3 1 by 2 means I have 3 whole piece and 1 of half piece. This means this means so we can say that 3 plus 1 by 2. So 3 half means 3 plus 1 by 2. Now we will learn how to solve addition and division or oh sorry addition and subtraction for the mixed fraction. But just keep in mind that the mixed fraction means we have the whole number and the fraction part. So if we will take if we need to add two, uh, two different uh, fraction how can we add these two mixed fraction so there is two different ways to add it first to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction and then add it the second one is we can add it like that I will teach you both the ways so first way first way is that this means 3 plus half plus 5 plus 1 by 4. We all know that addition is holds an associative and commutative property. So we can say that 3 plus 5 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4. Okay. So this is 8 plus. We can solve it separately. Now we can see that these two are unlike fractions. So what we'll do here? We will take the LCM of these two numbers. This is 4. Okay. And if I will change it into like fraction, this will be 2 plus 1. You want to see? So 1 by 4, the LCM is 4. And this one is automatically 1 by 4. So 2 plus 1 by 4. So we can say that 8 plus 3 by 4. This means 8 3 by 4. This is the first way. Now the second way. The second way is convert this fraction into improper fraction first. So how we convert in mixed fraction into improper fraction? Uh, we have learned in previous video, but I can give you a small uh, notice. What we'll do? <coughs> we'll multiply this. Uh, what we'll do? We'll multiply the whole number into denominator plus 1 by 2. So it means by 2. This means 7 by 2 and the another one is 5, 1 by 4 means 5 multiplied by 4 plus 1 by 4. So this means 21 by 4. 
Now what we do? We'll add 7 by 2 plus 21 by 4. Now if we take out the LCM of these two numbers, it would be 4 and 14 plus 21. Now I'll show you how to solve these two like 7 by 2. So this is 14 by 4 and this one is 21 by 4 already. So the denominator is same. So I took the denominator here and add the numerator. So it would be 5. So if we we'll add these two numbers, this is 35 by 4. Now we can convert it into mixed fraction also. So how we convert it into mixed fraction? 35. So we know that how to. This one is Q R P means quotient. 3 by 4. So if we'll add these two numbers, 3 1 by 4 plus 5 1 by 4, the answer would be 8 3 by 4. Now we'll subtract 5 by 5 1 by 4 from 5 2 by 3. So how can we solve this? <clears throat> how can we uh, solve this equation? So first of all, what we'll need to do, we need to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So 5, 2 by 3 will become uh, 9, 3, 17 by 3 and this will become 17 by 3 minus 21 by 4. Now we can see that see that these two fractions are unlike fraction and we need to convert it into like fraction. So how can we convert it? We have already learned in the previous videos or the previous uh, class. Still we can do it once again. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So, 17 by 3 and 21 by 4. Now, the next step would be 16 by 12 minus 63 by 12. We can see that the denominator is same now. 68 minus this would be 5 by 2. So what we'll get? We'll get 5 by 12. If we'll subtract 5 1 by 4 from 5 1 by 3. 